oh my gosh, here we are, ester bond formation. Sorry, those are my markers. And we're going to talk about this one last idea here is esterification or the formation of an ester bond. Uh, they are formed between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. So I'm going to start with my carboxylic acid, which is R, some chain. And then we're going to have the, the carboxyl group here. Like that. So here's my carboxylic acid. The length of the chain will change. And we're going to combine this with an alcohol. And again, the length of the carbon chain will change on this alcohol. So what we're going to have here, what is going to occur, what we're going to have here, or what is going to occur is that uh, this OH and this H here are going to combine. So what we're going to get here is water as one product. And then our second product, so we'll get water in each of these reactions as a byproduct. It's not something we're interested in forming, but these are dehydration reactions. And in the other reaction, we will get now R um, bonded to C. This will not be changing. And now we're going to have the O, which is from the alcohol, and then the R like this. So this is called our ester bond. And that ester bond, uh, they're really, really interesting. They're very, very, uh, they smell great, many of them. They smell very flavorful. A lot of artificial uh, flavorings in foods are formed from esters. There's no real fruit in a Jolly Rancher. Don't let them kid you. It is, um, it's an ester bond that is in there. Uh, we could make some cool stuff with this. Yes, I could probably talk about it longer. And that, because uh, it's always a fun lab to do. When you make something, you're like, that smells like bananas. All right. Here's one, butanoic acid and ethanol. So butanoic acid here, uh, as you would think, is from butanol. One, two, three, four. That's our but group. And I'll put my acid end on it here. So here's my carboxylic acid, butanoic acid. We're going to add it to ethanol here. So here's the H and here's the O. And here's the two carbons there. So these are my reactants, and I'm going to get ethyl butanoate. So the first thing we always name it, you put the alcohol first, and then you put the uh, the acid second, and then you end it in O8, and then you get water as the other product. O-A-T-E, O8 is the answer. So what I would now have here would be one, two, three, four, double bond. The oxygen from the alcohol, one and two. Ethyl butanoate and water would be the other product, H2O. And this one it would be one of the first ones that we would make in lab, and this one would smell very much like pineapples, but like hot pineapples. So if you like hot pineapples, it's not bad, but if hot pineapples like pineapples on pizza really isn't your thing, it's usually not the best one. The best ones are like wintergreen, um, and everybody likes banana, and then there's one that really is like um, juicy fruit gum, and that. Did you really think there was fruit and juicy fruit gum? No. It's an amyl acetate. You can tell as soon as you open the thing, it smells like juicy fruit gum. All right, kids, um, give this a try. I think it's pretty straightforward. I've asked you a few uh, to do a few examples. I think it's good for you. And um, we'll see how that works. Uh, I'll look for that by Sunday night. And this will kind of come be an end on this stuff. And that uh, I don't think there's a need for any sort of an exam or quiz here towards the end. Hope you are well. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the weather out there. All right. Take care and bye-bye.